Now let's take a list and work it out. Let's take an example something like this. I'm taking some, uh, you know, random numbers, okay? Okay, now, normally people add up from top to bottom, right? But in Vedic math, we calculate from bottom to top. Now, why we do all this in Vedic math? Normally in the academics, we do from right to left. In Vedic math, we do left to right. Normally in the academics, we do from top to bottom. We are doing from bottom to top in Vedic math. Why we do that? There's a wonderful secret to that. This I'll be trying to teach you in the next videos, you know, to come in the future. But as of now, you have to calculate from bottom to top, okay? Let's start. Now add 9 plus 8. Again, if you're perfect in n numbers, it becomes easy for you. 9, 8, dash 7, okay? 17, right? So put a dash, hold 7 in the mind. The 7 plus 7, you get 14. So put a dash, hold 4 in the mind. The 4 plus 9, you get 13. So put a dash and hold 3 in the mind. The 3 in the mind, add to 6, you get 9. But don't put, uh, you know, dash or below 10 numbers, like 9 or 4 or 3, don't put dash, okay? Now 9 plus 8, you get 17. Only when number goes beyond 10, you have to put a dash, okay? So dash, 7 in the mind, right? 7 plus 4 is 11. So dash, 1 in the mind. 1 plus 9 is 10. For 10, you just got to put a dash, that's all. Don't say dash and 0. Just put a dash and go with the rest of the number. 7 plus 6, you get 13. So dash and hold 3 in the mind. 3 plus 9, you get 12. So put a dash and hold 2 in the mind. The 2 add to next number 5. Now 2 plus 5, you got 7. Now 7 is more than 10 or less than 10? It's less than 10. So don't put any dash. Write 7 there. Now count all your dashes. Count 2 to dashes like this. It's 2, 4, 6, 8. The 8 right towards the left of 7 and the answer is 87. It's as simple as that. Let's take one more example. Something like... Again, we start from bottom to top. Okay, start. 9 plus 6, you get 15, right? Put a dash and hold like 5 in the mind, okay? 5 plus 7 is 12. So dash and 2 in the mind. 2 plus 8 is 10. So for 10, just put a dash and go with the rest of the number, okay? So 9 plus 6, you get 15. So dash and 5 in the mind. 5 plus 7 is 12. So put a dash and 2 in the mind. 2 plus 9 is 11. So dash and 1 in the mind. 1 plus 8, 9. Don't put a dash. Only about 10, okay? 9 plus 4, 13. So put a dash and 3 in the mind. 3 plus 7, you get 10. So just put a dash. Now go with the rest of the number. 8 plus 6, you get 14, right? Dash and 4 in the mind. 4 plus 5 is 9. Don't put a dash. Now go with next number, 9 plus 9. You get 18, right? So that's the last number, right? So if you get 18, it's like 10 and 8, right? So that's the last number, right? So for 10, you have to put a dash. And what is that number? 8, right? The date, write it here. Now count all the dashes. Count 2, 2 dashes, like this, see? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. The 10 right towards the left of 8, and the answer is 108. Let's take slightly bigger number, okay? Something like this. So we apply the same method, okay? We start from bottom to top, okay? 8 plus 7, you get 15, so dash and 5 in the mind. 5 plus 9 is 14, so dash and 4 in the mind. 4 plus 6 is 10, so just a dash. Go with 9 plus 6, you get 15, so dash and 5 in the mind. 5 plus 7 is 12, so dash and 2 in the mind. 2 plus 9 is 11, so dash and 1 in the mind. 1 plus 6 is 7, don't put dash, okay? 7 plus 5 is 12. So dash and 2 in the mind. 2 plus 7, 9, no dash. 9 plus 8, now we add, you get 17, right? Dash and 7 in the mind. 7 plus 9, you get 16. So dash and 6 in the mind. 6 plus 6, you get 12. So dash and 2 in the mind. 2 plus 7 is 9, 9 plus 8 is 17. So put a dash and hold 7 in the mind. Now 7 plus 5 is 12. That's the last number, right? You got 12. 12 means 10 and 2. So when you put a dash, the 10 is gone. What's the end number now? 2. Write the 2 down there. Now count all the dashes now. Count 2, 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. The 12 right towards the left of 2. The answer is 122. It's as simple as that. So I think you understood the concept by now. So finish off all the exercises given to you in this particular topic. And once you're done with this, we'll go for the next higher aspects. Like Now this is only for single digit lists. Okay. Now what to do for higher lists? We'll be talking in the next topic. So finish off your exercise and get back to me.